Well, we're on day two of the clinic and we're all settled up and good to go. Um, the horses were great yesterday. We got to do some really fun stuff. We got to go through the water, jump a couple of ditches, which was a little hairy, um, but <laughs> we survived and we're back for more. And it's kind of rainy and miserable today. It was beautiful yesterday, but today is kind of miserable, but at least it's cooler. So we're looking forward to a good day. Welcome back. We are now walking to the arena and the weather is definitely worse than, worse than yesterday, but it's okay. Got my little director snacks. That's where they're at. Well, I guess we're going to take this to the indoor arena. Cool transition fail. Apparently we are supposed to be down here. Hey, one into the booth. Bow. Hi, Miss Pearl. A mom needs to work on stretching tall like a giraffe. I'm not slouching like a slope. Not leaning too far forward. I'm gonna sing every song, yeah. I'm gonna open up my heart and I'm gonna dance in the light. Yeah, I'm gonna dance in the light. It was too long, I suffered inside. I was locked in my mind and almost lost my soul Cause all me was tangled and caught in my ego But I'm right here now I'm gonna dance in the light I'm gonna shout out for joy I'm gonna live out this So we're sitting the trot on the short sides and we point on the long side or posting on the long side Everyone down to a book. So, yesterday we were more focused on flat work, so today we're going to be more focused on jumping. We're going to be thinking about what makes the horses go well over the jumps. So, so it looks like what we're trying to focus on with Pearl is straightness and popcorn keeping up with them. Not speeding up or slowing down or leaping forward, just all relaxed. And Pearl were all over the place, so he said we're straightness. We're gonna trot over now. So basically, we, um, Derek had us just working a lot on straightness and rhythm. Um, so what, what was happening is that, and this happens with a lot of riders, is that you anticipate as you're coming into a jump or as you're approaching poles, 
you kind of anticipate and there's tension that develops in your body and that creates tension in the horse and then they lose the rhythm. So he worked a lot with us on ground poles and just keeping our eyes up, ignoring the pole and maintaining the rhythm uh, throughout the exercise. And it's actually surprisingly hard to do, uh, to ignore the pole and just maintain that same steady, constant rhythm. But it was a really good exercise and it helped uh, the horses to relax uh, and just to settle through the poles. I had to do a lot of half halts um, with Pearl because she was getting a little bit excited and spicy, um, but she did awesome. Looks like we have our cross country stirrups. Silly Diane. Oh! Now, sometimes you just gotta add some pizzazz. Am I right? Clearer, the moments are realer. The weight off my shoulder. Let me touch the sky. I'm seeing color. I'm living in wonder. I'm hmm? right here now. I'm gonna dance in the silly belly. I'm gonna shout out for joy. I'm gonna live out. It's moments like these that are <laughs> very fun to watch. I feel you love it in the breeze on every smile that I see. He only did that because she looked down at this little spoon. That's why his name is Popcorn, because he like pops the rain. Get it? Okay, she's living now on pop. These giraffes are so tall, they're taking up pearl. Had some spice. You know that song is like a little bit of spice. Not so, but you know. So with the gymnastic exercise, this was the first time that Pearl had ever done any type of related distance. The only thing she's done is she's worked over a little cross rail, a single cross rail. That's it. So this was a huge stretch for her and I was so proud of how well she went and kept it together. I mean, she is only four, uh, so she's very young and very green, but um, she is very game. She just seems to love jumping. So I'm super excited for the future and um, just developing that. Uh, so yeah, so we, you know, we started w working through the gymnastic with poles on the ground then he put a cross rail up and then a single fence after the cross rail. 
one stride to another vertical and then a stride to what started out as a vertical then ended up as an oxa. Let's see if Pearl can do this. Oh, that was crazy. She did it. Good job, Pearl. Okay, so now it is Popcorn's turn. Oh, oh, okay. Popcorn. Okay. Leg, leg, leg. Go, Mom. Good job, Mom. That's crazy. Now it's mom's turn, but that was Pearl's first time ever really doing oxers. And especially this whole line course. Go, mom. Okay. Okay. That was Sassy. It's keeping the trunk. Defending officer, can she do it? Can she do it? Can she do it? <gasps> she did it. Life of the party, life of the party. So that was so amazing. We had a fantastic time. Hey girls, wasn't it great? Hey, so fun. So much fun. I know Pearl jumped like I think that last dance we figured probably at least two for three, maybe even two for six. A little parallel and all she's ever jumped is single cross rails so that was like what like 12 inches yeah so that was amazing so thrilled with her and you erica superstar on pops how do you feel he went i think he did really well i'm very happy with how it went yeah and i mean the things that you've been working on like uh with your seat and your position I just like, we saw an improvement, improvement, improvement. So that was so awesome. So yeah, like I've said before, if you have the opportunity to go to clinics, great opportunity to learn and grow in your writing skills. Anyway guys, like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you next week. Doodaloo.